Yeah, um, uh, we had our moments, uh, but um, obviously disappointing. But uh, you know, respect to the Brumbies, they are the better on the night. So, yeah, um, obviously the two yellow cards don't help at this level. Um, but um, yeah, you know, Brumbies were the better team on the night, and um, you wish them well with the, the finals. Uh, for my guys, the uh, thing I, I really loved about them, one thing that sort of really stood out this year is we, we just don't go away, you know. Uh, um, it, may, it may not seem like much, but, you know, um, from my time in my rugby career, it means a lot. Uh, keep turning up, keep turning up. Right to the end there, you know, we, we're still uh, um, trying to get something happening, so... Um, yeah, I'm proud of the guys, uh, but yeah, not to be. Um, you mentioned the yellow cards. Maybe Higgers won, maybe fair enough. I haven't had a good look at it, but what did you make of Taniella's? It seemed like it could have really gone either way for you there. That's what it is these <coughs> days, you know. So <coughs> There's no point me really commenting on that stuff. That's, that's, that's where footy is these days. So... Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, with Higgers, to have a penalty try and then a yellow as well, that's a, that's a, that's a you know, a uh, bit of a double dip there. Yeah. <laughs> it's a penalty try. Um, plus you get the, the yellow. Wow. Anyway, um, um, uh, you know, it is what it is. And, don't want to take away from the Brumbies. They've done well this season, um, and like I said, um, you know they've you know, got opportunity to, to be in some finals footy, and um, you wish them well. Without wanting to harp on the Taniella one, when you say that's the way it is these days, do you just mean in terms of that's the reaction <coughs> that happens on high contact, or do you mean the whole thing with Higgins and 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 um, uh, you know, it's, um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's trying to be, uh, say the right things, you know. Yeah. I came, I played in the 90s, I played in, you know, so, yeah, yeah, yeah I guess I'm an old man now, I know, one of those old men that, you know, uh, back in our day we did this and that, but, um, it's pretty, uh, you got to be right on your um, on your on your technique there, because um, if you sort of around that area, there's there's uh, there's consequences in there. So that's a um, that's how it is. I think um, same amount of wins for you guys this year as last year. I think, um, but do you feel like you, you took a few steps forward in growth, or, or where do you see the squad's development at? Definitely, uh, I think there's been an improvement and some growth. Um, probably um, just in ge generalising. Last year, we said sort of, it could be rocks or diamonds. You know, are they going to turn up today? You know, they turned up over and over and over and over again. And um, uh, and again tonight, they competed hard and started well. And, um, you know, there's some key moments there where we um, lost some momentum and Brumbies capitalise and, and good on them um, but um, you know this year for the group the age that they're at you know they've I feel like they've learnt routine to, to you know, and, and they've had consistency of turning up and playing you know for the full 80 minutes so you know um, they've been fit enough to do that that was a focus so that's that's something I'm pleased about um, and They've had the mindset to continue to push and do a game, you know. So, um, example last year, you know, last week we were twenty-one five down against the Blues. You know, we're we're down by a few tries at the Brumbies tonight, but they, you know, they just keep playing. So um, it's something. Uh, you know, there's some good qualities. The the stuff that. Is ongoing individually and as a team is you know obviously coaching the skill sets and, and all that sort of stuff. But they have that mindset of 
uh, being, having a good routines and, and turning up to, you know, um, to put in good performances consistently and you play the, the full 80, um, you know, there's, there's, you know, if, with improvement, you can see, you can see the guys um, getting some pay at some stage. So, um, I know you're saying that's obviously the initial view of the Reds at the moment. How are you feeling about everything? Yeah, um, <coughs> it's been a roller coaster couple of um, couple of weeks now. Um, you know, with with the whole announcement thing, wanting it to be out there earlier, um, but really happy with um, how. This team has gone this year. Uh, personally, I just try to, um, as a captain, just try to serve the team as best as I can, and uh, that's uh, especially on the field and, and off field. And um, every week, it's it's a privilege to lead these boys up. Um, I think Thorny's uh, touched on it with the way <coughs> the the growth that they've shown in the last twelve months. Um, man, like I wouldn't I wouldn't trade any of them because uh, the fight that they show, um, the humbleness that they show. I mean, like I know we don't like to say they're young, but like they're young. Um, there's 20 year olds, they're 19, 21, and they're, and they're and they're uh, matching it with anyone. Um, they don't care who comes out. Um, that's what I've loved about them. Um, so I love turning up with them. Um, the work they put in through preseason, it showed um, throughout the uh, throughout the year. And um, yeah, we, we might not have been the most experienced, and it might have cost us at times. But that's that's why we play footy. So where the growth is for the boys and. Um, I'm really excited for them for the next couple of years uh, to see them just just go 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 up from there and move forward from there. So, um, you know, kind of emotional last couple of days. Um, understanding that this, this will be my last um, Queensland game for now. Um, but yeah, just uh, just really privileged to wear this jersey. Last one for a few guys as well. I think I heard Higgins say to the ref when he got the yellow card. It's my last game. Yeah. Trying to get out of it, but has it hit the squad yet that you know that there is going to be a bit of a change in the guard there? Yeah, um, boys understand. Um, we, we spoke about it throughout the week that, you know, um, I think it's every year, like, you, you don't always get the same squad. Um, there'll be one or two guys changes, but, you know, there is a, a big change for, for next year. But, um, like I said before, the, the growth that they showed, they, they will take the team forward. Um, the guys that uh, that played tonight, you know, wrong is Youngie, uh, who, or Young, Luke Khan, they, they'll take the team forward. Rora, um, these guys that are playing at 20s level, uh, Zaki Lucas, who's, um, who's been outstanding for us? Um, you know Jordan Patel, who missed out most of the year. Uh, he's a freak, um, and those guys will, um, you know, take take the jersey on now. For, for guys uh, like myself, um, the jersey's always there to to add on to to it, um, and now we're placing it down for the next group. What about um, Australian rugby? Obviously, you guys knocked <coughs> out from is the only team going through <coughs> the finals. I know you were fighting against them out there tonight, yep. but. Do you hope that for the good of Australian rugby, they, they make a real fist of this final series? Yeah, 100%. Um, I think I spoke about it at Captain's Run. Hopefully this weekend would have been their last loss. But, um, you know, from here, hopefully... Uh, and I know they'll go well. They're, they've got an awesome uh, group of boys here, yeah, uh, awesome culture with, with, with the Brumbies boys. And um, I know that they'll, they'll do well for Australian rugby. Um, we don't lose. You've got to be proud of them. You've got to back them. Um, you know, they're our neighbours. So, um, you know, wish them all the best. Brad, do you think that they're playing a style at the moment that can um, do well in, in final-style rugby? That's a piece of the game. Yeah, in the big games and finals footy, it steps up, doesn't it? And, um, yeah, it's really important to have that to build off. So, you know, they're strong in that area, so that, that's handy. To be able to play home final is, is, is good, probably most likely against the South African team. So. Um, the thing that's great about finals is um, it's it's like almost a little brand new competition and it's game on and um, you just you, know, you take one game to all or nothing at a time and get past that and um, like Sammy said you know the Brumbies lads they're good lads they're good good people down here and um, um, you know we wish them well and. Uh, you know, um, we'll see how they go. Yeah. So, I mean, you had a bit of a head clash with your teammate, Luke Tom. How's he after the match there? Yeah, I hope he doesn't remember it was me. Um, I think he was <laughs> telling the boys that um, everyone outside that was me. Um, I got a Fijian head. Um, but um, 
Yeah, it was just a pretty tough collision. Um, he was awesome for us tonight as well. Uh, real physical guys. Um, you know, he's a real close mate of mine, and uh, for him to see his growth personally um, has been has been amazing. Um, some tough times for him, for him and his family, and for him to come out on the other side um, as not just a rugby player but as a leader amongst amongst his group um, has been awesome. And you know, at this point, he didn't start there uh, longer, but um, he, he's had an awesome season from a guy that's played lock. And then Thorny pushing him to six, um, you know, it was, it was a big change for him and he's, he's taking that challenge. So I'm really proud of him.